Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again with another gadget I think you're going to find pretty cool. It's called the Owl Car Cam, and it's going to seriously change the way you drive and make those long road trips safer and a whole lot more fun for you and the family. Now, I know there's been a ton of dash cams released over the years, and I've reviewed a lot of them here on the channel, but let's be honest, most of them are pretty much the same. You'll rip open the box, you pull the device out, you'll stick it to your windshield, run the wires under your dashboard, and then the games begin. You'll spend a half an hour, 45 minutes in front of a fuse box trying to find the right two connections that breathe life into the device on your windshield, slide a memory card in the side of it, go to bed for the night, get up the next morning to start your trip. Now, if you record for a couple of days with those devices, you'll realize pretty quickly that it's got a bit of a fisheye approach to it. So you'll see a very wide lens, which kind of bows everything out. So it does an okay job recording footage during the day, but not so great at night. But the bigger headache is when you get home from the trip, trying to transfer that footage from that dash cam to your computer or your phone to share with family and friends is a nightmare. So these guys have solved all those problems. They've made the installation drop dead simple. They claim you can do it in six minutes. I'm actually going to go out in the car after I finish this section of the clip and show you how easy it is to install. But more than that, they've designed this thing to be incredibly simple to use. They've got a 4G LTE connection built into it, which means this is always connected to the internet. It's constantly uploading the stream of recording that it's doing. It's got dual HD cameras, so it's capturing all the footage in front of you, as well as the footage in the cabin, including audio, which allows you to instantaneously create nice little clips along your trip to share with family and friends. But it does so much more than that, and I'll talk about that in a little bit. First, I want to talk about the company. So Al has been around for a while. Their initial founders are all wizards. They're all guys that came from the industry. They're kind of a nerd's nerd, if you think about it that way. Their lead founder is Andrew Hodge. Now, Andrew came from uh, Apple. He was a product development lead at Apple. They've got people on the team that came from Microsoft working on the HoloLens, and a bunch of other Silicon Valley uh, wizards that are out there put this company together. So they're not, I think, interested in stopping with just a car cam. They want to do more than that because they realize pretty quickly that inside your car, you've got this network, this private network, where the main computer talks to all the sensors and all the things going on inside your car, and that all terminates at a thing called an OBD connector, which is the onboard diagnostics connector. It's the thing that technicians use when you bring your car to the shop to diagnose what's wrong with your car. Well, that connection gives a lot of information about what's going on inside that car, and it's really the port that you connect to to talk to the network inside your car. These guys have bridged that network with the internet by including 4G LTE into this because when I plug this into my OBD connector, it not only gives me information about the car, but it also gives me the ability to bridge those two networks together. So I think there may be bigger things coming from these guys, either as part of this product or some other products they're coming out with. But for today, making that connection to the OBD for all the power you need to power this thing up just makes this installation so super simple. But really smart company, a lot of big things coming from them. But I'll get into all those features in a minute. So in this clip, I'm going to do an unboxing in a couple of seconds of the product. Then I'm going to take it outside, show you how easy it is to install. I'll record some footage on the road. Then I'll come back at the end and give you my review of it after using it for a couple of weeks. But before I do, I want to point out that this uh, product is being reviewed as a sponsored review. They sent me this one, um, and spirit of full disclosure, I have to tell you that, but I always tell you that when I review products like that, it isn't because they just send them to me and say, hey, Rick, why don't you review the product? It's because I'm looking for a product like this. I find three or four companies that I think really make a decent product. I'll send them emails and say, hey, look, I think you got a cool product there. I'd love to try it out. I'm going to do an honest review on the channel of it. If I like it, I'm going to talk about it a lot. And if I don't like it, I may not talk about it at all. But this product is a fantastic product from all the research I've done on it. So that's why I'm doing the clip on it. All right, so let's get into the unboxing. So beautiful box. It's really well packaged. I've already pulled the cellophane off because I took a peek inside. But inside the box, you can tell pretty quickly that some of the people that worked on this um, have a marketing background because they built this thing to be just a beautiful package. So the first thing you're gonna look at is what the product looks like on your dashboard. There's the Alcam and beautiful sky behind it. If you flip it over, you get four stickers there that you can put on your car. That kind of tells the bad guys that you've got some kind of security system built in your car because not only does this record footage when you're moving, but it's got bump sensors, crash sensors in it. If people break into your car, it's gonna turn on, lights are gonna come on and warn them that there's a camera in there. It's gonna immediately start recording so you'll get a selfie of the bad guy getting in your car to try to steal it. So these are good to let people know that you've got the L cam installed in your car. Then you get a really nice instruction manual. Now, honestly, it's probably gonna take me longer to read through this than it is to install the product, so we'll have to see how it goes. But uh, beautiful instructions there, very well illustrated. Couldn't be easier to install this thing. They give you a what's in the box list on the back so you know what you're getting. Inside the product, first thing you'll notice on top is the cable. Now the cable itself has got an OBD connector on this end. As I mentioned, you plug this into that port under your car. That's the only connection you've got to make to the car. The other end's got a USB-C connection on it which connects to the camera. So in addition to that, let me get some of this stuff out of the way. We've got this unit here, and this is how it mounts to your dashboard. So there's a vacuum 
suction cup right here that actually holds onto your uh, windshield and this tucks in the front corner of your car. Now they give you a bunch of what they call tails of different sizes that allow you to adjust for whatever car you've got. Now, talking about the OBD, I should have mentioned that, pretty much every car since 1996 has got an OBD connector in it. So if you've got a car that's newer than 20 years old, this thing will work fine in your car, but the windshields can vary quite a bit on the slope and how long they are. So they give you a bunch of tails so you can use these to actually adjust for whatever's necessary inside your car. The last thing they give you is this tuck tool. Now the tuck tool is kind of a cool thing, let me get that out of the way, because this allows you to hide that cable along the edge. I just think it's wonderful that these guys thought that through because they've installed a lot of these and they're like me where they're thinking, if I'm selling somebody something, how do I make it easy for them to install it? You could, you know, sort of just get a screwdriver and jam it down inside there, but the tuck tool's got a little pry bar in the end. It's got a little divot here that perfectly fits the cable. So it's easy for you to slide it into those cracks around your dashboard. It's just a really nice little touch that they built into it. All right, so let's talk about the camera just briefly. So first thing you're gonna notice about the camera is that it's got a swivel mount on it. It's a ball mount that's magnetic. So once you have it in the car, you basically just click it on there and you're ready to go. And you can point it out your window, obviously, to see the uh, road in front of you. And the cameras inside will capture the inside footage. And then the connection you make to it, once you snake the wire up to the top, is right to the side. It's a USB-C connection on the side. So again, the installation, they're claiming it's a six minute installation. I'm gonna actually time it. I can't believe it's gonna take me six minutes to install this thing, but we'll get outside and give it a look in a minute. But for me, the initial observations of this thing and the research I've done it on the web with it is just a fantastic product. Oh, I forgot one thing. They include uh, cable ties. Now these aren't standard cable ties, they're bendy cable ties, which is kind of cool. So you can wrap this around to hide wires under your dashboard, which is kind of nice. So anyway, that's pretty much it for the unboxing. Stay tuned now, I'm gonna go outside and install this thing. We'll time it and see how long it takes me, but man, oh man, is this a cool product. I'm all set and ready to install the Alcam. First thing you're gonna wanna do is to push your driver's seat back as far as you can. That'll give you plenty of room to work onto your dashboard. Find the end of the cable that's got the OBD connector on it and locate the OBD port under your dashboard. Now it might be hidden, so you'll need a flashlight. Sometimes they have covers over them, sometimes they're exposed. But once you find that port, you'll push the connector on the end of it, and you'll have to give it a little bit of pressure to get it on there, but you'll feel it pop when it goes on, and you'll know you've got a good connection because you'll see the green LED flashing on top of there. The next step is to route the wiring around the edge of your dashboard and up to the center of your windshield. Now you can do that pretty easily. Just pull it tight along here, and then you'll find that you can tuck it in between your dashboard and the molding. Now, it'll be easy in spots, it'll be tricky in other spots. Up here, it's gonna be a little bit tight, and that's where this beautiful tuck tool comes in. These guys are geniuses for including this, because if you didn't have this, you'd be up here fishing around with a, a screwdriver or something, and probably gouging the heck out of your molding. So all you do with this is basically gently insert it between the dashboard and the molding, and it creates just enough gap to get that cabling in there. So you'll continue to route that around the edge of the molding, Trust me when I tell you it gets way easier once you get up here. And once you get up against the windshield and the top of the dashboard, it's really smooth sailing all the way across. So you'll leave all that extra cable up there. Don't worry about tightening anything up. And I'm gonna go back and clean this up in a little bit. And I didn't mention that I already started the timer over there, so I'm playing a bit of a, a game of beat the clock here to see if I can do it in five minutes. Okay, the next step is to figure out which of these feet you're gonna use. Because the way this works is you've got a suction cup on the mount that's gonna to adhere to your dashboard and you've got to decide where you want that located in your windshield to have it high enough where you're not going to have an obstruction in front of it that you're going to see every time you record something. So they include four different feet, a really long one, a little shorter one, a little shorter, and then a tiny one. Now, since I have a huge windshield here, I'm going to get rid of the smaller ones and go with the longest one. The way you assemble this is basically slide this over the bottom tongue like this. Oops, I got it backwards. Over the bottom tongue like that, and it's just pressure fit on there. It's just friction fit inside there. Now before you adhere this to the dashboard, you can see there's a channel here with a little, like a gap in the center, and that's where the other end of this cable comes in. You'll see a ball on there. That ball fits right in that hole, and then you can route the cable down through that channel just to neaten things up. It doesn't really affect it electronically, but it's just neat to keep the cable out of your way. You don't want to see a cable dangling in your field of view up there on the dashboard. So once you get the cable routed, you connect it up to the side of this Alcam right here. It's a USB-C connection and a female USB-C right there on the side of that camera. So to do that, you could probably wrestle with it getting it in, but I pop it off like this, make that connection. Once you've made the connection, pop it back on that magnum out and you're good to go. Now the way this is gonna to adhere to your windshield is you're gonna tuck this in between your windshield and your dashboard, and there's a little clip here with a suction cup up top. And when you close that clip, it actually pulls down in the center of that suction cup and really adheres it to the windshield. So you'll wanna start with that down like that, 
You'll find a midpoint in your dashboard, say right about here. Slide that down until it won't go any further. Push this up against your windshield and then close that clip, just like that. And once you've done that, this thing's not going anywhere. It's mounted on there nice and tight. And your Alcam is facing forward and you're good to go. Now I've got it high enough where it's over top of my windshield wipers. There's nothing in front of it. I should get a beautiful view of the road. And I like the fact that I can adjust it as well. All right, so the last thing you've got to do is a little extra cable dangling here. All you're going to do is start tucking that in again with the tuck tool. And you'll see on the tuck tool, there's a little divot here. That's the perfect shape to actually grab the cable and just start gently tucking it in against the windshield like this. That's it. So any extra cable you've got, just kind of gently stick it down in there and hide it up against that windshield. And if you've got extra, just go back and a little at a time, keep sticking it down in there. And eventually you'll bury all that cable nice and tight and hidden up there against the windshield. And that's pretty much it for the installation. Now, you have to activate it, and I'll show you how to do that next. But in essence, once you've got that cabling set up, you can see the Alcam is on at this point. It's not connected up to my phone, so I'm going to show you how to actually make that connection and then start using the Alcam. Now, I did that whole installation. Let me stop the clock. Four minutes and 17 seconds. I think that's pretty good. Now, that still gives me, by my watch, ooh, I don't know, 43 seconds to go back and clean up the rest of that cable. So I'm going to do that now just to neaten this up so it looks really pretty. But that's a very quick installation. And I can tell you from experience, I've installed a ton of other dash cams and none of them are that quick. Most of them are a half an hour minimum just trying to find the right connections under the dashboard, let alone figuring out how to mount it up on the dashboard. So anyway, that's pretty much it. So stay tuned and I'll show you actually how to activate this. Activating the Al car cam and pairing it with your phone is a very simple operation. When you first power up the unit, it'll display a barcode on the front. When you open up the application, it'll activate your camera. You simply point your camera at the barcode. It reads the barcode and pairs with your phone. And then you're ready to use your Al car cam. After I finished the activation of the Al car cam, I went for a drive to capture some footage to show you what the images look like both inside and outside the cabin. Now on the interior shot, I'm actually driving into the sun. You can see it washing across my face and lighting up the cabin. And I think the camera does a great job of handling that varying brightness. With the other shot from the exterior, I'm driving into a darker part of town. And most cameras have a hard time with a bright sky and dark ground. And I think the dynamic range on this product is pretty good to handle both of those well. Now that I have the Al car cam installed and activated, I wanted to take a minute and provide a brief overview of the product and explain some of the key features that'll make your driving safer and a lot more fun. On the front of the unit, you'll find a 2.4 inch LCD touchscreen display that provides easy access to all of the sub menus and adjustments for the Al car cam by simply tapping the screen. On the right hand side is the inside camera. That's a four megapixel sensor with a 120 degree field of view and it provides a beautiful picture of the interior of the cabin. Below that are two microphones, one on either side, that capture crisp audio of any conversations or noises inside the cabin. Below that, you have two LEDs, one on either side, that are part of the security system built into the Al car cam, and those will come on if the car is shaken to warn people outside the car that it's being recorded, and if glass is broken, they'll come on again to fully illuminate the cabin to capture footage of anybody entering the car that shouldn't be in there. On the very bottom, you've got the OBD power connection. That's a USB-C connection that terminates down the other end at the OBD connector under your dashboard. On the rear of the unit, you'll find a cooling vent, which is part of an active cooling system inside the Alcar cam that helps to maintain a comfortable temperature for the electronics. On the top is a light beacon, which is visible from outside the car and is intended to warn would-be intruders that they're being recorded. Below the vent system is a reset button that can be used to reset the Al car cam if needed. In the center is the outside camera, which is a four megapixel sensor with a 120 degree field of view that provides incredible recordings of your trips on the road. At the very bottom is a speaker system that allows you to play back audio from the clips you've recorded. And finally, the ball mount is the attachment point to the mounting system inside the car, which is held in place by very strong magnets. In this last section of the review, I'd like to share my honest opinion about the Al car cam after driving with it for the last several weeks. Now in that time, I've driven under a wide range of conditions, including daytime driving, nighttime driving, rainstorms, city driving, and I found the product to be virtually flawless in its ability to capture really solid video footage and make it really easy to share with family and friends. I also love the fact that it's a security product, which means when I park my car, 
If somebody bumps the car or somebody breaks a window to try to get inside the car, it immediately turns on a light and starts recording. So I've got crystal clear footage of who backed into my car in a parking lot, or worse, if somebody tries to get inside my car, it'll light up the interior enough to capture the perfect selfie so I've got a good picture of that person. And the best part is, it's not storing it locally like a lot of the car cams do, it's uploading it to the cloud. So I know that even if they break into the car and think they're being super smart by stealing the unit, I've still got a great selfie up there in the cloud that I can use to maybe track down the bad guy. It's a really smart installation as well, which is something that separates it from a lot of the other dash cams that are out there that really require almost an engineering degree to get under the dashboard and connect it up correctly. It also is beautiful because I'm not dealing with a micro SD card that's stuck inside of it that I have to pull out of the unit, take in the house, and try to figure out how I transfer that footage around. It's just drop dead simple. It's easy to install, it's easy to use, and the best part is when you're on a trip and you want to capture that special moment, you say, okay, presto, it records the clip, and you can immediately send that to family and friends, and everybody gets to enjoy the trip with you virtually. So for me, this is a solid product. I know it's a little more expensive than most car cams out there, but honestly, when you consider that you've got the LTE connection to the cloud, you've got all those whiz -bang features built into it, and I expect that they'll probably expand the functionality somewhat over time with firmware upgrades, it really is the car cam to own. And I've reviewed a lot of car cams in my day, and honestly, comparing it to others, it's in a different class completely. So I could heartily recommend this to anybody looking for a dash cam or a car cam, especially if you're concerned about any kind of damage to your car or maybe a possibility of theft. It's a wonderful product. So I hope you've enjoyed this review. I've had a lot of fun testing this thing out. I think it's a wonderful product. If you have any questions about it that I haven't answered in the review, please drop them in the comments below and I promise to get back to you as quickly as I can with any answers I have. Thanks an awful lot for watching and until next time, we'll see you soon. Thank you.